Today we're going to talk about robot monitor thresholds, how they're defined, and how you can use them to color code as well as send out external notification from robot monitor. Today we'll focus on disk storage. My academy system is currently at 75% and wisdom is at 68. This is displayed in my production dashboard. The color code is associated with the threshold that's defined on this particular monitor. Likewise, my subsystem monitoring has a threshold associated with it. If a subsystem is down, it's color coded red. If it's up, it's color coded green. In the lower left hand corner, I have a dashboard widget that shows all the current thresholds on my academy and wisdom systems. And uh, you'll see that there is a severity associated with certain threshold values and you can use that to for instance only display thresholds over a certain severity. Over on the left hand side there's a couple of threshold activity options. One is the current thresholds across my entire environment and then I can filter down to a single system or a system group. I also have a running threshold log. It's updated every time a threshold is triggered. And then there's the threshold configuration itself. Thresholds are specific to different monitor types and I create multiple threshold objects for a particular monitor type like disk storage. Under the filter option you'll see all the various monitor types that are available and I'll just choose disk. These are the thresholds that are currently available for monitoring disk percent used. Let's take a look at an example on my academy system. We already determined that my academy system disk utilization is at 75% and it's color coded orange. Looking at the disk properties, I have a global threshold, which is a default for auxiliary storage associated with this particular monitor. This is shipped with robot monitor, it's pre-populated, but I can change the values in this threshold setup. I also have the option of taking multiple samples and choosing how to calculate the threshold, average, delta, minimum, and maximum. This is a global threshold, which means not only can it affect the color coding in the GUI, it will also determine what sort of external notification that I'll have. For instance, I could sound an alarm in the GUI. I could send a message to a message queue on IBMI. The message queue is called MonTHR. It's in the MSM library. And that's for the central system. Each individual system also has its own message queue called MonTHR LC for local. I have options to repeat the alarm in the GUI as well as repeat the message. If you have a message monitoring tool like Robot Console, you can then intercept that message and send it out. That's one form of external notification. Another is to send messages out directly via robot alert devices and broadcast lists, as well as escalate into the robot network status center. You've got a lot of flexibility around the information you send out with your message. I can change the short translation and add variables into that. For instance, a small ampersand V is the current value of the element where a uppercase V is the current value of the element ignoring any averaging. Likewise, I can choose the color. So once that threshold is exceeded, I can define a user defined color or I could specify for instance, maybe critical. Critical is a predefined color code of red warning is orange and so forth. User defined is very popular. Likewise here's the severity associated with that. I can even make the icon flash or the item flash. I can associate different sorts of icons with the threshold value. Alright so uh, very popular is to use the stoplight red, yellow, and green and so forth. Alright that's a global threshold. I can create a new global threshold. I can also select one of the other threshold objects that may have been uh, created by somebody else or, or used at one time, maybe for a single system. 
And then there's local thresholds. Local thresholds are specific to your GUI. For example, if I create a new local, and I'll just call this uh, Chuck is testing, and I'll add a, a new value of 60, and I'm going to make that a user-defined uh, pink color. All right, and we'll even put an icon on there of a big red X. All right, what we'll see is this vertical bar will now change, but only in my GUI. In everybody else's GUI, it'll stick with the default. All right, let's right click on that and let's drill in a little further. I can also override at the single system level. So for instance, if I say global threshold, override for academy, and uh, I'll go ahead and select a list and let's call this uh, my academy disk. So I've, I've predefined a set of thresholds specific to academy. So I'm, now I'm only going to be notified if my threshold is over 90. All right, and I can associate icons and different text and alert devices and so forth with that particular threshold level. And then I can have even a local threshold specific to my academy system. So let's uh, create a new local. Chuck is testing two, and I'll add a value, and I'll let's put in 50, something fairly low, and we'll call it user defined, and we'll select a different color. How about this uh, dark red color? All right now this is only on my academy system but it will uh, only affect my local GUI so that's the difference between global and local global will affect everybody's GUI local will only affect my GUI and I cannot send out any external notification okay let's do something a little different now let's get rid of all my local thresholds so I'll just hit the clear button and let's go back to global thresholds I'm going to create a new global threshold and I'm going to call it Chuck is testing three I'm going to have one value in that threshold of well, let's say 70 percent and I'm going to put a specific user-defined color on that let's go back to the pink and I'm going to send out a specific notification I'll just say disk is pink and I'll put in the actual value that's being collected I'll put that in the short and the long translation likewise I will send out notification to my robot alert device now this is 70 percent so I should be getting some notification once I say OK. OK, you can see that the disk is now color coded in pink. And uh, let's take a look at my robot alert inbox. And sure enough, I have an email. Threshold event for built-in disk on System Academy. Disk is pink, 75. Let's take a look at the green screen now. Display message MSM slash mon THR. And there is my threshold message from the defined threshold on my disk storage monitoring. Disk is pink 75. So I would recommend experimenting with local and global thresholds and try different color coding, try different notification options, and see what works best for you. If you have any questions, certainly reach out to product support. Thanks for listening.